Question number 1A1. 1, 2 and 36 are factors of 36. Write down all the other factors of 36. We know that 1 times 36 will give us 36. 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9 and 6 times 6. So the other factors of 36 are 3, 4, 6, 9, 12 and 18. 1 and 2 are common factors of 36 and 90. Write down two more common factors of 36 and 90. If you multiply 6 by 15, you will get 90. And 9 by 10, it will give you 90. So the two common factors of 36 and 90 are 6 and 9. Write down all the square numbers between 20 and 50. What square numbers do we have? We have got 5 square is equal to 25, 6 square is equal to 36, and 7 square is equal to 49. These are all between 20 and 50. So our answer is 25, 36, 49. C. P and Q are prime numbers. PQ times Q is 56. This is not a very difficult question. It's a two mark question. Try to write down the factors of 56 and see which has a prime number in it. You will see that 8 times 7 is 56. 7 is a prime number. 8 can be written as 2 cube. So 2 cube multiplied by 7 is 56. P is 2 and Q is 7. Next question, write down five numbers which are multiples of seven. So you can write seven times one, seven, seven times two, 14, seven times three, 21, seven times four, 28, and seven times five, 35. A2, two common multiples of four and seven. So for the first multiple we can do 4 times 7, that will give us 28. For the second multiple, you can multiply by 4 by 2. So you will get 8 and multiply 8 by 7, 56. So the two multiples which are common to 4 and 7 are 28 and 56. In B, we have been given a bunch of numbers. And from the list above, we have to write down a square number that is also an odd number. We can see that the first odd number here is, uh, sorry, the square number here is 16 and the other square number is 25. So 25 is your odd number and a square number. In P2, we are asked to find a prime number that is one more than a square number. We already know that 16 is a square number. So 1 more than 16 will give us 17. 17 is a prime number. n is an integer and n cube is between 60 and 70. Find the value of n. n cube is 60. The cube number between 60 and 40 is 4 cube is equal to 64. So what is our n? Our n is 4. Question number D. K and M are prime numbers. K squared plus M is equal to 23. Find K and M. Let's write down our prime numbers. We have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. And 23 is a small number. So if I square... 5 square, I'll get 25. 25 plus m, not possible. It will be bigger than 23. So we have to work with 2 and 3. Let's see how 2 works out. If I do 2 square plus m is equal to 23. 2 square is equal to 4 plus m is equal to 23. This plus 4, I'll bring to the other side and subtract it. 
I'll get m is equal to 23 minus 4 and m is equal to 19. So we know that 2 is a prime number and 19 is the prime number. k is equal to 2 and m is equal to 19. Question number 3. Calculate 3 cube. You just have to put in the calculator and you will get the answer as 27. In A2, you have 12 square divided by square root 81. Again, put it in the calculator and the answer is going to be 16. The cube root of 4913. In the calculator, you can write it as cube root of 4913 like this or write it as 4913 to the power of 1 over 3. And the answer is 17. In B, you have to find all the square numbers between 6 and 14. You know that 2 square is 4. So we will not be able to use that as our range is between 6 and 40. So we will write 3 square, 4 square, 5 square, 6 square. And these numbers will give us 9, 16, 25 and 36. B2, 4 factors of 76. The first two factors are 1 times 76 and then because it's an even number, 2 is also a factor of 76. So 2 times 38. To get that, you can divide 76 by 2. So the four factors of 76 are 1, 2, 38 and 76. A prime factor of 35. 5 times 7 is 35. Both 5 and 7 are prime numbers. So 5 or 7. In 5, the highest common factor of 56 and 70. So write the highest common factor of 56 and of 70. Let's start with 56. 1 times 56. 56 is an even number, so 2 times 28, and then 4 times 14, 7 times 8. These are all the factors of 56. Now let's write down the factors of 70. 1 times 70, 2 times 35, 5 times 14, and 7 times 10. You can see that the highest common factor of 56 and 70 is 14. Question number 4a. From the integers 50 to 100, find a multiple of 43. So we can, we know that 1 times 43 is 43. So we'll do 43 times 2 and we got 96. So the answer is 96. A factor of 165. Divide 165 by different numbers to check what answer you will get and is it between 50 to 100. 165 divided by 3 will give us 55. A3, an odd number that is also a square number. We know that 7 square is 49, but it is less than 50. 8 square is 64, but it's an even number. So let's try 9 square. 9 square is 81 and it's also an odd number. And it is between our range, so our answer is 81. A number which is a square number and also a cube number. By now you will have known that 8 square is 64 and 4 cube is 64. So the answer is 64. B1. Find the square root of 5929. We just have to write in the calculator like this and we'll get the answer which is 77. B2. Find the lowest common multiple of 24 and 30. So we will write the multiples of 24 and the multiples of 30 and we'll see which is common. Multiple means like times table. So 24 times 1 24 times 2, 24 times 3, 
24 times 1 is 24, 24 times 2, 48, 24 times 3, 72. We continue like that. Stop after 5 numbers or so. The same we will do with 30. And we can see that 120 is the lowest common multiple. Question number C. Elena goes on a journey to the North Pole. She leaves home at 7 a.m. on 15 July and arrives at the North Pole at 10 p.m. on 27 July. How long in days and hours did her journey take? So she leaves on 15 July and arrives on 27 July. 15 July to 27 July are 12 days. Then she leaves on 15 July at 7 a.m. So we will take from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. There are 12 hours. And we have to reach till 10 p.m. So 7 plus 3 will give us 10. 12 hours plus 3 hours total, 15 hours. So the time she has taken is 12 days and 15 hours. The next question. Write down two factors of 12. So the first two factors that I can think of is 1 and 12. Question number A. Write down two factors of 12. You can write any of these numbers because 1 times 12 will give you 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. Whatever you want to write, that's fine. The next prime number after 19 is 23. If you don't know the prime numbers very well, please go through my video of different types of numbers. In that, I've done in detail all the types of numbers. In A3, the cube root of 64. Either put in the calculator like this or 64 to the power of 1 over 3. The answer is 4. In A4, 2,507,000 in figures. A million has six zeros. So... 2,507,000. Two multiples of 75. You can write 75 times 175, 75 times 2, 150. The value of pi correct to 5 significant figures. When you put in the calculator, you will get 3.14159. They ask for five significant figures. So one, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth significant figure. The number after that, if it is five or more than five, we add one to the previous number. So we have 3.1416. The next question. Write as a percentage. Whenever you have to write as a percentage, you have to multiply by 100. So 1.63 multiplied by 100 will give us 163. 3 over 40 multiplied by 100 will give us 7.5. In C1, they want us to write this correct to one decimal place. So one decimal place is here. Like I mentioned before, if the number after the place we want to round to is 5 or more, we add 1. So the answer is 63521.8. In C2, we have to round this number correct to the nearest 100. So 100 is here. And the number after it is 2, which is less than 5. So I don't need to add 1. I can write 63,500. We have to change these numbers into zeros. 
In this question, a few numbers have been given to us. And from the list, we have to write the factors of 24. Better write down all the factors of 24 so that you don't miss out anything. 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. So what are the factors of 24? 2, 3, and 4. A prime factor of 24. From here, we can see that 3 is the prime number and it's a factor of 24. The highest common multi a factor of 56 and 91. Write down the factors of 56. 1 times 56, 2 times 28, 4 times 14, and 7 times 8. And the factors of 91. 91 is a, a prime number. So we will only have 1 times 91. So what is the highest common factor? 1. The next question, the square root of 49. Square root of 49 is 7. And then we have to find the cube root of 27. You write like this in the calculator or this is the answer. You should know that 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Using four numbers from the list in part A, we have to find the largest four-digit number. So these are our numbers. Whenever they say the largest, you start from the largest number towards the smallest number. So it's going to be 9, 7, 5, 4. We have to write the answer in words. It's 9,000. 754. In C, they are asking us, find the common multiple of 5 and 8 between 100 and 150. Let's write down the multiples of 8 first. We know that 8 times 12 is 96. 8 times 13, 104. 8 times 14, 112. 8 times 15 is 120. So the answer is going to be 120. If the number ends in a 0 or 5, it means it is also in the 5 times table. For the next question, the square number between 350 and 390. Whenever you want to find the square number, you'll square root these numbers. So square root of 350 is 18.7 something. Square root of 390 is 19.7 something. If you do 18 square, you will get 324. And if you do 19 square, you will get 361. So 361 is the square number between 350 and 390. Thank you very much for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Please like and uh, share this video with your friends so it can be a help to them also. Also, if you have any request regarding any topics that you want me to make a video of, do mention in the comments section. Thank you once again.